Thanks, everyone. And thanks for the opportunity to present today. Uh, this uh, company also spin off from my lab. Um, Virtus Therapeutics, uh, the portrait is not working. And uh, I am the founder of Virtus Therapeutics, and our primary mission is to develop the first treatment for pentatonite kinase associated neurodegeneration, or PCAN. This is a terrible disease. It's a Alzheimer of children and young adults. It results in Parkinsonism, dementia, inability to control muscle function, and death. And it's caused by a single mutation in the pentatonite kinase 2 gene, which is located in chromosome 20. I was invited last week to speak to the parents uh, of uh, many children, and I can tell you it broke my heart. This is really urgent and important. See, I met many, many of these children. Uh, Lucy, for example, right here, was diagnosed only three months ago. She was a normal child, played soccer, who never everything else. That child, in a few months, will be in a wheelchair, and don't know what will happen in a few years. Just an absolutely devastating disease. The disease can be diagnosed often three years after it happened uh, by MRI due to the accumulation of iron in the basal ganglia in the brain. From a basic biology standpoint, this is related to the metabolism of vitamin B5. Vitamin B5 needs to be phosphorylated into phosphopentatonate, which serves as precursor for coenzyme A, and coenzyme A is a major cofactor in cellular metabolism. Humans have three pentatonite kinases. One and three are cytoplasmic enzymes, and the PANK2, which is mutated in patients with PCAN, is a mitochondrial enzyme. So the problem is when PANC2 is missing, you have an altered CoA pathway that results in altered mitochondria, neuron, and brain. The solution we are offering is a class of compounds that were discovered in the lab that are activators of the second enzyme, PANC3, to compensate for the loss of PANC2. In this case, you restore the CoA pathway, mitochondrial function, neuronal function, and brain function. This was discovered from a lot of work that was initially sponsored by Program Therapeutics for Kinetic Health from a library of 156,000 compounds, modulators of pentatonite kinases. We identified 14 compounds that activate human pentatonite kinase 3 in the nanomolar range. We received the Blavatnik Award, and we are expecting funding, non dilutive funding, in July of this year, about $700,000, <coughs> to continue our cell based and animal studies. And we will be, by the end of this year, early next year, starting our Series A raised to enter phase one, phase two clinical trials. We know a lot about this disease that I don't have time to speak about. For example, we know that they act through two mechanisms of actions, uh, active site activators and allosteric activators. And more importantly, the only other compound sent in clinical trial is by bridge bio, which is basically an inhibitor of human pentatonic kinase 3, but serves as an, as an orthosteric activator it activates in the presence of acetyl-CoA, and as you can see, in our hand, it does nothing. Ours are direct activators of the enzyme, so we really have no competition in this case. The compound has very long half-life, especially VTAC2, which can be administered once a week. It has CNS exposure two to three times their AC50 in the brain. We developed the first cell-based assay to screen for these compounds, where we can determine cells that are normal with PAN2, have a luciferase activity, cells that are missing don't have luciferase activity. That allows us to conduct detailed SAR. And these molecules were produced, I don't know what you, you don't see here, but it's actually mice that we produced <laughs> that like PAN2, and we've already administered our compounds to this place, and the results are uh, being collected. We have a second mouse model also that we, have, we are developing. The breeding is taking forever. But in nine months, we'll be able to deliver those uh, drugs to also that second mouse. And we hope to get all the data so that we can start phase one clinical trials. So in summary, a novel set of activators act through novel modification. We have a novel strategy. And we have an IP last until 2040. We'll be raising Series A. So we are looking for those partners who are interested in helping us fight this disease. Our goal is to enter IND in phase one, potentially even phase two. And our goal is to develop the first treatment for PCAN so that we don't have to see this. This is what I was invited to see. These children <coughs> uh, die and their families are absolutely broken. And these are all the families that you see here. And this is what they, are, they have to live with. It's really something that we can do something about. It's a rare disease. We are not getting traction from large pharma. But we have something that we can do about it. 
So hopefully, if it cannot be done with uh, money from VCs, we're going to do it uh, through non dilutive funding, and that's what we are aiming to do. Thank you very much. Thank you.